So hopefully you guys can see me. I know the lighting isn't that great in here. Hello. Okay, anyway. So a lot of people have been asking me how to get verified on Instagram. So I wanted to go ahead and do a video on it. So the five main social media platforms that give out verification of brands are Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Of those five, Instagram is the hardest to obtain verification on. So if you are not Oprah famous, but you want that blue check mark, here's what you can do. So as far as the minimum basics, your profile must be public, you must have a bio, and you have to have at least one post. There is no minimum amount of followers that you have to have, and there is no minimum amount of time that your account has to be open before you can request and obtain verification. Can you hear them kids in the background? They loud. Hold on a second. All right, so I closed my window. Hopefully that helped. Next. So you can't have any type of bots or automation on your Instagram. This means that if you've signed up for any service in the past that requested your username and password so that they can come in and help you grow your account, engage on your behalf, even things like Hootsuite where you can schedule posts, you have to cancel all of those services. And then you have to wait 30 days after they've been canceled before you can request verification. Are they fighting? You also can't have changed your username more than twice. Instagram is really big on authenticity. And they have a hard time trusting that you are who you say you are if you're someone who changes your name regularly. Plus, they also don't want to give someone the verification who's then gonna change their name to something else and mislead people. So if they verify Tony Smith, the you know super fancy gym owner, they don't want Tony Smith to then, after receiving verification, sell the account for a lot of money or change the name to something else, misleading people into thinking that whatever you change that name to um, is verified when it, it really may not be. You gotta show up on Instagram. If you want Instagram to care about you, you have to show Instagram that you care about them. This means being active regularly, posting every day, engaging with your followers, engaging with other people, commenting on posts, liking posts, using the platform pretty much. They don't wanna give verification to people who don't even use the platform. So your bio needs to be optimized. Your bio should say who you are, what you do, and any acknowledgements or achievements that you've received. You should also be Googleable. Now, being Googleable does not mean that when you type your name in Google, your old MySpace profile comes up. Or that if you click all the way over to page five, you're gonna find that one podcast that you did a year ago. A good rule of thumb to follow is to take up every single link on the first page of Google. Now, what's found on Google needs to also match your bio. So if your bio says that you're a high-end fashion designer, what they find on Google should not be that you are a top golfer. It has to match the bio in order to get that check mark. So if you, your bio says you're a high-end fashion designer, what's on Google needs to also support that you are a high-end fashion designer. If you don't know how to be Googleable, 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 Googleable. I have done a video on how to do your own PR, your own public relations, which is getting you out into the media, getting your name on reputable sites to help you get on to Google, that link will be down in the description below and you can see how to do your own PR so that you can up those Google rankings and become Googleable. Um, another last thing, you cannot have any links in your bios that say, follow me. For example, I currently have a link in my bio that says, follow my YouTube channel because I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. Once you get verified, you can do whatever you want. You can change your bio to too hot to try it and you can put follow me on every other platform that's not Instagram in your bio. However, in the process of getting that blue check mark, you cannot use your profile to drive traffic to another social media site. They will not verify your account. But once all these steps have been complete, you can now go in and request verification. I'm gonna show you how to do that here. You're gonna click the three lines at the top, then you're gonna click on settings. You're gonna come down here to account, and then you're gonna click on request verification. Now, you're gonna receive um, an answer in a few a matter of days. It does not take them long to make a decision. And even that you are denied, you can request it again every 30 days. There is an unlimited amount of times that you request it. However, if it takes you more than three times, which three is actually the average amount of time, so honestly, don't expect it to work the first or second time. It should go through on the third time. 
if for any reason it doesn't go through on the third time, you're gonna wanna go back and make sure that you are following all of these steps. You're gonna wanna make sure that you do have a good online presence. You're gonna wanna make sure that your bio is optimized and it supports who you say you are. You're gonna wanna make sure that you don't have any type of bots on your page, that you're not using any type of automation or any of those scheduling services or anything like that. You're also, one more thing guys, it's not gonna work if you bought your Instagram account. I had a client do that. He wanted verification, but he bought his account. So when I asked him if he changed his name more than twice, he told me no, not thinking that if you bought the account, you changed your name when you bought the account and you don't know how many names that they used previously or how many times this account has been bought and sold. If you bought your account, it's not gonna work. Instagram knows when people buy accounts because usually the entire account changes. You know, the account was like some flower store and then overnight the name changes and it's not like some club or something like that, you know? Um, it's not gonna work if you bought the account. All right guys, so if you are new here, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Turn on notifications so that you do get notified every single time that I post a new video, which will be every single day, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Thank you guys for helping me reach my goal of 400 subscribers. I really do appreciate that. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what content you're interested in, what questions you'd like for me to answer, anything relating to business concepts, public relations, marketing, social media, or even just growing your business in general, reaching your target audience, let me know. I would love to give you guys the information that you need. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I will see you guys later. Peace.